The Philip J. Pierre-led administration honors St. Lucians who have made indelible contributions to nation building and pioneered new horizons for future generations. The endeavors of Sir Julian R. Hunt throughout his professional and political career has immortalized his legacy as a selfless leader and a dedicated nation builder. To commemorate Sir Julian's proud legacy, the government of St. Lucia took the decision to rename the Groseley Highway in his namesake. The renaming ceremony was held on August 14th. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre candidly reflected on the impact Sir Julian has had on his life and extolled his distinguishing qualities and virtues that solidifies his impressive legacy, which is at the core of St. Lucia's post-adult suffrage history. Few of us will be able to be the politician that Julian R. Hunt was in St. Lucia. Few of us, if any. <laughs> Julian had a nationalism that was unheard of. He liked St. Lucia. He liked things St. Lucian. The amount of children that Julian paid their school for, paid schooling for them, gave them books. Before there was anything like SSDF, Julian had his own SSDF. Julian had his own poverty reduction fund. All these institutions, the way they worked, is similar to how Julian worked. The amount of children who got their books, who got their shoes, who got their uniforms, and we're not even speaking about sporting clubs, sporting gear, cricket. This guy spent his entire, his and he never thought about what had happened to him. It was always the people of St. Lucia. It was always the people of St. Lucia. Members of Sir Julian's immediate family were in attendance at the ceremony. His granddaughter, Faye, vicariously conveyed Sir Julian's thanks to his former Grosley constituents, his family, and the government of St. Lucia for christening the Grosley Highway in his namesake. As you know, the people of Grosley have remained dear to my heart. But my long life in the service of the people of Grosley and St. Lucia would not have been possible without the support of the staff of the J.R. Hunt group of companies. It is their willingness to hold the fort for me while I pursued my responsibilities as a parliamentary representative for Groselais and leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party that permitted me to devote the enormous time that is required without having to worry too much about the direction of the companies. If the support of the family who formed the JR group of companies was essential to my ability to represent Groselais and lead a very active public life, then the support of my personal family, my, my wife and my children, were vital for my life of public service whether it was in politics, in cricket, diplomacy, and business. To accomplish it successfully was to sacrifice time that should have been theirs. Let me express my profound and eternal gratitude to my wife, Jennifer, for standing by me through all the vicissitudes of public life. It is commonly said that behind every successful man is a woman, and the love and loyalty of Jennifer, Jennifer throughout all of the years is testimony to this. Without you, Jennifer, this moment would not have been possible. Thank you. Sir Julian R. Hunt's political ascent began in 1971 when he was appointed mayor of Castries. Sir Julian became political leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party in 1987 and went on to win the Groselay seat during the general election cycle of that same year. He was St. Lucia's ambassador and permanent representative to the United Nations from 1998 to 2001. Sir Julian founded and was the chairman of the Standing Conference of Popular Democratic Parties of the Eastern Caribbean. He also co-founded the St. Lucia National Trust and served as its chairman for almost two decades. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.